Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. We are in Williston, Florida at the Devil's Den Prehistoric Spring. And this is basically, it's a, it's a dry cave with a spring in it. It's, a, it's got fossil beds that date back like 33 million years crystal clear water. The, the water is about 72 degrees all year round. It is an incredible place for snorkeling and scuba diving. You can come out here and camp. There are campsites, there are cabins, and we are going to take a look around and show you what it is like to experience the Devil's Den. This is the Devil's Den in Williston, Florida, and it is a prehistoric spring that dates way back. And when you take this entryway, this ominous kind of narrow entryway, you come across this. A lot of people standing in line waiting to check in and go in because I mean, how often do you get a chance to swim in an underground prehistoric spring, right? Now, this is the actual entrance that goes down into that cave where the spring is and we are going to go down there in just a moment and show you a good look at at what to expect and all that out of this very very cool diving and snorkeling location but this place there's a lot of stuff to do out here and it's got a lot of cool history and um well let's just listen to a, a little bit about the history my name is kevin tate i'm the general manager of devil's den prehistoric spring in williston florida Devil's Den has been in the Williston area, of course, uh, since the time dawn of existence. What brought us onto the map was uh, the discovery of a prehistoric bear that was carbon dated back to 10,000 years. That bear was discovered completely intact, as I said, above the waterline, upon one of the rock ledges. That bear was then uh, recovered, taken to the Natural History Museum in Gainesville, which is uh, ran by the University of Florida. That bear is on exhibit now there. Uh, it also uh, created a, a large following for other scientists that have carbon dated some of the things that have been located back 13,000 years from inside our spring. Uh, there's been over 50 different species of animals recovered out of the den to include mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, dire wolves, a 15-foot ground sloth, and then of course the prehistoric bear. As I mentioned earlier, the den is not the only thing to do on this property. I mean, you could make a good full two or three days out of just staying here. Right now we have the den is absolutely our, our biggest attraction. Where you, we're a scuba diving resort that does allow snorkeling. Uh, snorkeling is by reservation. We have cabins to rent, RVs, and tent camping sites. And uh, I'm sure that we've gotten a video of it so far but we're in the process of getting our two and a half acre scuba park back up and running, which will allow swimming, snorkeling, tubing, as well as scuba diving and free diving training uh, going on in our scuba park. Now, heading on down into the den, you are gonna take these stairs that are cut through the rock and come across the opening where you have a steeper metal stairway to get down to the platform. And look at that nice, clear spring water right there that you can dive in it is 72 degrees year round uh this place is it's about 120 feet uh surface diameter um it's an inverted mushroom shape below the surface and the maximum depth is about 54 feet and it does not take long for people to start enjoying themselves in this spring um, when you look around down in there you can see uh, there's some fish and stuff that swim around in there too these are actually some koi they have koi on the property and when they get too big for the koi pond they drop them off down here into the springs and um, this is a really unique opportunity to snorkel and scuba uh, during the winter months when it's colder out you truly get to experience why uh, it was called devil's den as the the atmosphere temperatures rise and get colder. The water temperature always remains the same and it creates a dramatic amount of mist that comes up through the opening that looks like steam, which gave it its name. 
Kevin mentioned earlier that you could go camping out here in uh, RV sites or tents, and there are also some cabins. And this is what one of the cabins looks like. It sits out here peacefully in these woods. And when you go in, notice you've got a nice good size bed there, a spiral staircase that goes up to more sleeping in a loft upstairs. You've got your television. You have a little a little dining area there as well as a kitchenette to prepare your, your morning food with and all that. And uh, up in the loft, there's actually a couple more uh, beds up there. It's a little tight up there, so I couldn't get a good shot of it. But there are some more sleeping uh, upstairs. Now, the property... Um, is amazing i mean they've got a heated swimming pool they've got uh, large changing areas with showers and bathrooms there's 30 plus picnic tables charcoal grills there's cabanas there's large pavilions you can have parties at assorted lawn games i mean just tons of stuff people can locate us and come visit us by visiting www.devilsden.com set up a reservation for lodging or snorkeling. If you're a scuba diver, reservations are not required and you can show up at any time and we have uh, gear to rent for people that don't have their own gear. There's also a local dive shop uh, that we support and they support us uh, that also provides training in open water, uh, advanced open water, uh, free diving, snorkeling to include uh, instructor level training and gear as well there you go that is a look at the devil's den prehistoric spring here in williston florida it is a fantastic place for you to check out look at their website to get more information as far as how you can reserve snorkeling times and things like that or get a cabin or rent a place uh you know a, a camping spot for your rv it's a wonderful wonderful little location to check out if you haven't been here so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.